what would your message be then to all the people that are listening to this that are that are living in a Western country right now? They're not truly happy. They want to change the scenery. They're, they're thinking maybe Dubai, maybe not, maybe this, maybe that. What what in terms of give me your best sales pitch Look, in terms uh, of why people should lie. come here? Dubai is where UAE and Saudi now, especially UAE. This is networking capital of the world, Dubai. There's, this is the new Switzerland, this is the new Marbella, you call in New York, whatever you want. This is where it's at. Every tycoon, influencer, YouTuber, CEO, CFO, CMO, everyone's here. Everyone's setting up shop here. Why? You've got the rich people coming here. Why? Because it's security. They make millions and millions. They can live around the world. Why? Why are they going to live in London where their Rolls Royce can be robbed off their driveway? Where their kids can't run and go park without getting stabbed for a nice... For they've got their cars or their watches. They don't want to do that. They earn that money to have security. Dubai gives you that. Every major business, everything's here. And literally, you're a phone call away from meeting someone. So I think if you if you can, but I don't want to say a message where people say, look, I'm married with kids. It's hard for some people. Not everyone can pick up and leave. But if you're a single man or woman and you've got no responsibilities and you've got no kids and you're at that point where you feel like that age, go to the UAE. Save some money and just take that risk. What's the worst? Go back to your mum's. If you can afford that, do it. Because in life, if you don't take a risk, you're not going to achieve nothing. Go and come here because if this is the land of opportunity. It's not the American anymore. UAE, especially Dubai, is a land of opportunity, in my opinion. And I think if I can, bro, I'm nothing. I am nothing. If I can make some kind of success, anyone can. I'm not, I've never been Harvard, Oxford. I'm not no intellect. I still speak slang. I still stutter when I talk. I waffle. Uh, look at the face. It's not like a face your mum wants to meet. You know what I mean? But if I can, anyone can. That's what everyone should believe. It's just you've got to work. Someone goes, oh, well, you don't really sleep much. Yeah, because I've got to always keep on my toes. I've got two daughters. God forbid, uh, God forbid I die tomorrow. I've got to think of the future. I need to get some stability for them so they can go to uni and whatever. So you, uh, that's why I do this. Like, I want all my family to live in Dubai here. I want, I want to look after all of them. Then I can sit there and go, yeah, khalas, I've done it, alhamdulillah. Maybe it achieves, maybe it doesn't. Maybe I die tomorrow. Alhamdulillah, whatever comes is from God. But still, you have to work. So everyone out there, young, take that risk. Take a trip. Do it, like you say, three, four months. Go with a friend. Go to a bit out if it's a cheaper uh, cheaper to stay, like Burda by Dera, J- uh, whichever little district, JVC, Jebel Ali. And just commute and just walk around, meet people, talk, go to gyms, go to beaches, more go to HR agencies, real estate, whatever. Real estate is booming now. Many, anyone can do real estate. Just to the course. It's booming. Probably the most booming market in the world right now. Yeah, my, 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 my mate, who is a developer in the UK, he's a successful developer, doing, doing millions in turnover, and he, and he just said, you know what, I'm just going to come over here and be a real estate agent. And he's, you know, he's on track to do 20K this month, and he's, and he's building it up. He's building it up. Um, and obviously 20K is nothing like what he was earning before, but eventually he will build up and eventually he'll make money. But he's like, he's, he's having a great time out here because he can wear his he can wear his solid gold Rolex and he can walk around and no one's judging him for having it, even though he's worked hard for it and everything else. It's just, cause it's just no, it's normal life here. It's like, it's very... And it goes back to testimony to the leadership and the foundations of having a Muslim country. They don't have to be Muslim, but with that religious base... Have rules, a system, and people all respect it. Every culture I see in my gym, but they all know the boundaries. It's respect. Yeah. Like I said, I ask everyone on the podcast, how many policemen do you see walking the streets? Well, I've only I've only seen the police a few times, and it and it's only because of only because of traffic. 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 You don't police. see police. Yeah. Go to anywhere in the West, any European city, any Western city, you'll see those. You don't even see police. Yet people won't steal that wallet. Or that phone when you walk away. That's why, because they respect the laws. Yeah, it's a deterrent. They know the consequences. It's not fair, but they just know. There's Step out of line, okay. But respect. Have your fun. Wear your bikini. Go get drunk and party there. If you're into that, uh, eat your food. Whatever it is. Because well, in, it, in it, those boundaries, there's places. But don't yeah. take the piss. Yeah. And bro, the UK and the West. Bro, England's home. Born and raised. I love it. When they played the World Cup, I went to Qatar to watch a game. I was like screaming for them to win. But unfortunately, they've let the. It's just a joke. It's not like it was when I was younger. The eighties were the best. When did you last go back to England? Last year. I'm I was gonna go for Eid, but so much work. But I'm gonna go summer. I wanna go summer. I do like a bit of Europe and take the kids to Paris. Euros. See, see, I was about to go, but then 
If I went now, it was just the worst timing. I had so much going on. I wanted to spend the Eid, but then I want to try and inshallah do Hajj this year. Go to Mecca, do the pilgrimage because I've never done it. And then after that, London, see my mom, family, go see everyone. And then maybe drive to Euro Disney for the kids. It's, I'd love to then see Euro Disney, Paris and uh, Disney, you know. They love that stuff. Yeah, I saw, I saw you. I saw you treated them the other day to a Frozen. Yeah, yeah they're obsessed background. with Frozen, bro. So it's I have to, I have to deliver. They will love to see the real life. Also, so yeah, when it, like everything's for the kids, man. So when they're happy, then you feel satisfied, you know.